Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome once again inside my lifted Mitsubishi Delica. So in today's video, guys, I thought we'd hit the open road, head to a campsite, and uh, show you guys how I get this thing set up for a comfortable night's sleep. This is a stock Delica, uh, no modifications in the back. And I'll show you guys what it's like to sleep in a stock Delica. So it's gonna be just a chill video, guys. I'll go over the camping stuff. We'll go make a coffee, sit next to the fire, eat some good food, uh, enjoy the van, and just enjoy a good night here on Vancouver Island. So enough talking. Let's hit the open road, and I'll see you guys at the campsite.
Alrighty guys, so we made it to the campsite. Obviously, as you can see there, we got everything set up. Made myself a coffee. I hope you guys are enjoying this sort of uh, ASMR style video. It's kind of nice just to hear the sounds of nature, the coffee boiling, all that good stuff, right? Anyways, I thought we'd hop in here and talk a little bit about the camping setup so that uh, maybe you guys get some ideas or maybe just want to know how I do it. So I'll turn the camera around now and I'll show you guys what we got going on inside here. Okay, for starters, you can see this is obviously where the two seats fold up. I've got this one folded down and this seat meets the middle's captain's chair right here and that just butts up and that creates our bed. So if I wanted to, I could fold this down and make one huge long bed, but I'm 6'4 guys and just this one and this one is long enough for me. Now on top of that, I've got my blue air mattress, a little fleecy blanket and my sleeping bag with my pillow. Right here is my emergency tote and I've got my lantern on top and this is where I put my phone, my keys and anything important at night when I'm sleeping. We've got the insulation covers on all the windows and right now we've got the crystal light roof open and uh, before I go to bed I'll close that. And as you can see here guys I've got this chair turned around so I can face the back. I can put my feet up on the you know the tote here or the bed and just relax. And tonight I'll close these before I go to bed because uh, if I don't in the morning the sun will be beaming on me and uh, I'll be getting up at 5.30. But uh, that's it for now, guys. It's pretty basic stuff. Like I say, with just the foam or just the air mattress and the big sleeping bag and having a good pillow, uh, it's a really comfortable sleeping here. I'm a big guy. I'm 6'4", and this is plenty for me. So I think, uh, as you can see, I made a coffee there. So I think we're going to get camp all organized here, kind of put away. And then we're going to make a 20-minute hike down to the China Beach entrance. It's a doozy of a hike. So we'll take our time and just check out this beautiful park here. So uh, we'll catch up with you guys on the trail.
Holy smokes, you guys. Just sitting down here, completely by myself. There's nobody around on either beach. And you know, some people can't understand why somebody would just go out on their own, like by themselves into nature, or, you know, because they're scared of whatever, but man, this is just me, man. I am totally okay out in nature, just by myself. It's very peaceful. I found myself just completely getting lost in space, watching this troller out here, fishing, watching the birds pick through the seaweed. I'm just looking at all the mountains over there on the Olympic Peninsula, of Washington. In fact, like right there is one of my favorite places to go, which is Forks, Washington. It's one of my wife and I's favorite spots to go through on our way down to Oregon. And that's just right there. So uh, that's pretty cool, man. Anyways, guys, what time is it? 6.45. What do you think about that hike down here, hey? It's like a lot of steps, and coming down here isn't hard, but going back, if you don't take your time or you're out of shape, it's a huff and a puff, that's for sure. But it's good exercise. We'll earn those s'mores later around the fire. I probably have coffee on my nose, guys. And any shot, if you ever have, see brown on my nose, it's from my coffee cup. It leaks and it leaks coffee every single time. Nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. Coffee nose bow. <laughs> Anyways, guys, like I say, it's quarter to seven now. I'd like to be back at the campsite by 7.30 and uh, burn for about two and a half hours and then be in bed by 10. So, But, uh, you know, it's, it's all about just hanging out and relaxing personally. So that's what we're going to do down here for a few more minutes. And then we'll head back and uh, get a fire going, guys. So enjoy China Beach. Goodbye, China Beach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Six. <clears throat> Funny story about those stairs. <laughs> I was here about six, seven years ago, back in my drinking days, a bunch of buddies. And uh, Buddy and I thought it would be a good idea to sprint up those stairs, hammered, at midnight. <sighs> What's up, Craig? Good times, buddy. Man, oh man. Didn't puke. Amazing. <laughs> Anyways. Almost back.
Good morning, guys. So mind the messy hair, the messy beard, the tired eyes, all the stuff that comes with just waking up. So the camera died last night. We were sitting on the fire enjoying that awesome fire. Hope you guys like the different perspectives, different views and whatnot. Um, anyways, let's talk about the sleep. So I uh, went to bed about 11 o'clock. No issues in here. I had such a comfortable night's sleep. It was so dark. I've obviously got the windows open now so we can have a conversation. But it was super dark in here all the way till now. And the sun came up super early. Um, very comfortable, comfortable night's sleep, guys. I'm very pleased and I look forward to spending more nights here in the van doing more adventures. That's the key, right? You want to be comfortable, you want to be warm and uh, no issues here. So I'm going to get this morning, going to make a quick breakfast, quick coffee, get the van put back to normal, hit the road, get home so I can edit this video, keep making more videos for you guys. Uh, we're going to be doing some more work on the van here this week, I think. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, enough talking. Hope you enjoyed the camping video. Hope you enjoyed the inside of the van here and how I get it all set up. And uh, until the next time, take it easy. Cheers.